evaluate the following double integral over the region R. We have the double integral over R of 8 times x to the fifth minus y to the fifth squared dA, where R is the rectangular region where x is greater than or equal to 0, less than or equal to 1, and y is greater than or equal to negative 1, less than or equal to 1. So the first thing I'm going to do here is set this up. And now notice, since we have a rectangular region here, since the bounds on x are constant and the bounds on y are constant, we can use either order. So we can use dx dy or dy dx. They'll both work perfectly here. So we'll go with our first one. We'll use dx dy. So I'm going to rewrite this integral. So for using the order dx dy, the y bounds are on the outside, negative 1 to 1. x bounds are on the inside, 0 to 1. 8 multiplied by x to the fifth minus y to the fifth squared dx dy. And so the first thing that we want to do here is evaluate the inner integral. So I'm going to take that out here. So we're ready to evaluate the inner integral. So we have the integral, we'll put 8 on the outside, from 0 to 1 of x to the fifth minus y to the fifth squared. So I'm going to expand that out. So we have x to the fifth minus y to the fifth times x to the fifth minus y to the fifth dx. And we'll need to go right ahead and then FOIL this out here to find a single polynomial. So this is going to leave us with 8 times the integral from 0 to 1 of x to the 10th minus 2 times x to the 5th, y to the 5th, plus y to the 10th dx. And we're now ready to integrate. So this will become 8 multiplied by x to the 11th over 11 minus 2x to the 6th, y to the 5th all over 6, plus y to the 10th times x from negative 1, oh, not negative 1, from 0 to 1. We can actually simplify here too. We, of course, know that 2 goes into 6 three times. So let's plug in our bounds. So we end up with, when we substitute 1 in, we're going to have 1 11th minus y to the 5th divided by 3 plus y to the 10th. And then when we substitute 0 in here, everything will cancel. And so we are now left with 8 times 1 by 11 minus y to the 5th divided by 3 plus y to the 10th. And so that's our inner integral. So at this point, we are now ready to go ahead and evaluate the outer integral. So again, I'm going to keep 8 on the outside here. And we have the integral from negative 1 to 1 now of 1 by 11 minus y to the 5th divided by 3 plus y to the 10th dy. And it's all set up and ready for us to integrate. So we have 8 multiplied by 1 11th times y minus y to the 6th over 18 plus y to the 11th over 11 from negative 1 to 1. So this will be equal to 8 multiplied by, so we're plugging in 1 first here, I'll have 1 by 11 minus 1 over 18 plus 1 by 11. And we're subtracting, now we're evaluating at negative 1. So this will become minus 1 over 11, minus 1 by 18, 
and then we have minus 1 by 11. So let's simplify within the brackets first here, see if we can combine anything before we distribute the negative. So again, still keeping 8 on the outside, we'll have 2 by 11 minus 1 over 18 minus, and we have negative 2 by 11 minus 1 over 18. And so at this point, again, trying to simplify before I actually do any addition here with our fractions, I'm going to distribute this negative sign through. So this is equal to 8 multiplied by 2 by 11 minus 1 over 18 plus 2 by 11 plus 1 over 18. And hooray, we see that this minus 1 by 18 plus 1 by 18, those guys cancel each other right out. And we are left here with 8 multiplied by 4 elevenths for a beautiful final answer of 32 elevenths.